If you think of big data as an ocean of information, near the surface you'd find government databases and other public sources that anyone can access. If you dive down several hundred feet, you reach dark data. These are all data objects and types that have yet to be analyzed for any business or competitive intelligence. A Stanford University computer scientist, Christopher Ray, the creator of an engine for analyzing dark data, is among this year's MacArthur Genius Grant recipients. Mr. Ray created a computer system called Deep Dive that can analyze data buried in hard to quantify things like images and illustrations and make connections between them. Mr. Ray's research involves an area called computer learning, a field that experts expect to take big data to a deeper level. But let's step back. What's big data and what's so revolutionary about it? In the mid-2000s, scientists in the fields of astronomy and genomics, utilizing new technologies to record astronomical observations and DNA base pairs, came to the same realization. Not just that their banks of data were becoming big, really big, the data packed onto a few DNA molecules, for example, could fill a hard drive. It also dawned on them that given enough computing power, a new realm of analysis was possible, one that could identify unimagined patterns among stars and distant galaxies, among DNA sequence changes in cancer cells. And those pattern discoveries, they realized, might point them to other discoveries, new galaxies, new theories, new cures. To express their odd sense of possibility, they coined the term big data. As authors Kenneth Kukier and Victor Meyer Schonberger put it, big data is all about seeing and understanding the relations within and among pieces of information that, until recently, we struggled to fully grasp. But let's start with how traditional methods work. Say you have a lemonade stand. Over several months, you build a database that includes the dates and times when customers make purchases. You also have a column where you put whether it's rainy or sunny each day. Looking at it, you see that you sell more lemonade on sunny days. You intuit, based on your data, that weather is the primary factor influencing customers' thirst for lemonade. But there might be other and perhaps more significant factors that motivate the behavior of your customers that you haven't even considered. How could big data benefit a lemonade stand operation? Big data analysis helps in uncovering non-obvious correlations. That would mean in the lemonade biz, writing down every single transaction over a long period of time. As you take a lot of different data sources together and you look at the patterns that are emerging, you may see new insights that influence the sales of lemonade. The possibilities grow larger when you bring in more varied and diverse data sets, including unstructured data. What's the difference between structured and unstructured data? Structured data involves numbers and words that can be easily categorized, like the kinds used in that hypothetical lemonade stand. Whereas unstructured data includes information that's typically more complex or narrative in nature. Unstructured data might include video from surveillance cameras or customer reviews posted on Yelp or blog posts. Human brains are brilliant at processing irregular data, but our bandwidth is limited to what we can see or hear at any one time. Enter artificial intelligence and machine learning applications, like Christopher Ray's Deep Dive system. Mr. Ray describes Deep Dive as an inference engine for taking in sentences, raw natural language text, and being able to make them into a more structured form that a machine can understand. Understood by computers that are being trained. It begins to recognize a pattern, even though it has never seen an exact pattern like that before, and recognize it as interesting. Just as trillions of neurons firing in the human brain can form into a thing unto itself, a thought, Kukier and Meyer Schonberger describe an emerging phenomena of big data. Change of scale has led to a change of state. That's the short answer. <laughs>